Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out the other placements. If you need a person reading, all that information is going to be down below. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, energy moves and flows. All right, so feel free to pick and choose the side that you resonate most with. Okay. okay. All right. How do you see yourself in this connection, Pisces? How do you see yourself in this connection with the person you're dealing with? How do you see yourself in this connection with the person that you're dealing with? How do you see yourself in this connection with the person that you're dealing with? How do you see yourself in this connection with the person you're dealing with? How do you see yourself in this connection? Okay. Let's see, how does this person see themselves in this connection with you? How does this person see themselves in this connection with you, Pisces? How does this person see themselves in this connection with you? How does this person see themselves in this connection with you? One more card. Okay. So, Pisces, uh, what I'm getting here is that... Um, Pisces, you're dealing with someone here who, um, I think you're trying to follow your heart. You're trying to follow your intuition. But I do feel, I don't know why, I do feel that you're open to new love. I don't know why. I feel you're open to new love here. You've ended things with this person that you're dealing with, okay? Because there was a lack of commitment here. And now it's like you, you've just walked away, babe. You walked away. There was no growth, no expansion. There was a situation that was going nowhere. You, uh were trying to nurture and uh, care about this connection. The connection was growing probably because it was only you who was putting in all the effort out here. But uh, there was no growth here, which is why you stop investing into this connection, okay? I feel you're feeling very left out in the cold, but finally, you're moving towards something that is more stable, something that is more balanced, something that is more secure. I feel you're just wanting to work on a connection where there is an equal give and take out here, okay? But I feel that you did feel very isolated, very lonely out here, and you're like, why should I be in a relationship which makes me feel isolated, okay? So there is change out here in the way you are thinking about this connection out here. But yeah, I think from your side, it's ended, pretty much ended out here, okay? And you're just walking away. This person, you know, used to... Um, sabotage the connection you know you would just almost get fed up trying to communicate with this person i feel communication could have been really shitty with this person out here okay and which is why you probably just chose to walk away from this person out here this person that you're dealing with wants to come back towards you okay with the nine of cups in reverse eight of swords in reverse and the page of cups in reverse see this is what the problem is this person is still not uh, wanting to be vulnerable okay so probably when they come back they will talk to you probably they'll want to discuss something about traveling they'll want to get out with you you know or they'll just talk to you about how work is or how you know like a very general conversation but not really boring okay but something which is fun so probably they just come back towards you but when it comes to opening up emotionally they won't express themselves okay because they don't want to be vulnerable they know they're fucked up they're not happy without you you are their wish fulfillment but this is a situation that's draining them out emotionally okay they're probably just faking it if you see them on social media happy they're not happy at all they're not happy at all i feel this person here uh they realize their mistakes okay they realize what they were holding back and they're finally releasing themselves from any kind of restricted mode okay where they felt restricted stuck and tied to uh probably certain boundary okay and they felt that i can't do this with pisces uh they're getting themselves out of that okay they're freeing themselves getting into a more independent energy is what i'm getting but there's a lack of expression here the love is there but they won't express it another thing i see here as this person here probably is coming up as very manipulative okay very manipulative out here they see the situation for what it is they see it very clearly but they're still manipulative okay so which is with the king of swords in reverse you're someone who has the emotions but they choose not to be logical and talk to you about it and have an open conversation they'd rather manipulate the situation okay because this is with the magician in reverse here i feel this person is just trying to hide you know what they want with you they're just trying to hide it okay and i feel this person has a lot of self-doubt they're coming from a place where they doubt themselves you know it's like they don't even want to try and give this a chance here because they doubt if they can make it happen with you the way it was in the past okay all right tell me how does pisces feel for this person 
you definitely want something balanced and if you're not getting it you're just out uh either you're moving towards new love is what i'm getting or you're just going to be open to dating i don't know why i get that uh how does pisces feel for this person how does pisces feel for this person How does this person feel for Pisces? How does this person feel for Pisces? How does this person feel for Pisces? This person here feels that you have emotionally detached from them, okay? Uh, they're not happy without you. Family could be an issue between you both. There's a lack of a full-fledged commitment between you guys. You guys could have been together emotionally. You could have had that fairy tale happily ever after. But uh, probably when you asked for something more stable, committed, that's something that w wasn't happening between you both. So there has been a breakup between you both. This is a breakup that is just causing a lot of chaos in their own life, okay? This person is still not being able to take the action out here, okay? With the king of wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel this person has a lot of doubt. Very passive approach, okay? It's like the love is there with the knight of cups yes yeah, i said that right the love is there they want to woo you they want to court you okay they want everything with you they love you but with the king of wands in reverse here they lack the action you know the king of wands is a very masculine energy right they get up and get things done so this person's like nah, okay yeah i'll do this I, I love pisces but then okay what does it take to get pisces back what does it take to do this what does it take to get the relationship back to where it was okay what does it take to get this to that happily ever after that's what not that's what's not happening here they feel you've detached okay they're very disappointed out here and it's like it's like they're going through an epiphany a huge realization like what the fuck just happened between us okay we were fine we were doing fine until pisces realized that they pisces was been taking advantage of you know and they're like oh my god like pisces realizes that so it's like that from your side i think you're no longer in that fairy tale in that dream world you see the situation for what it is and you're moving forward you'd rather just focus on your stability security uh, and invest in yourself or invest in things that are more productive invest in things that will grow invest in things that uh, you can commit to you or you commit to it or something that brings more growth expansion or something you know that is more coming into fruition that makes you happy you're being very practical very grounded out here but you're trying to avoid a disaster with this person whilst this person out here is already going through that disaster and the disaster is more like you know i want pisces back what do i do what do i do they are choosing with the five of cups here to you know to keep moping in that sadness and depression rather than take any action towards you okay it's very sad energy out here they don't even have hope and faith that you'll ever come back or you'll take them back out here um let's see but on your side, it's more like I'm just trying to dodge a bullet. No, not again. No more. You've done your bit. You've done like it's like almost like this person expected you to come all the way towards them in order for you to fulfill this relationship. OK. All right. What action will Pisces take towards this person moving forward? What action will Pisces take towards this person moving forward? What action will Pisces take towards this person moving forward? Pisces, I feel, you know what, I'm going to see their actions first, okay, before I jump in. What action will this person take towards Pisces moving forward? What action will this person take towards Pisces moving forward? What action will this person take towards Pisces moving forward?
this person is choosing to invest into you okay slow and steady but they will they're choosing i mean it's more like they're still laying back okay there's a lot of sadness around how things ended between you both you know i feel this person feels that you are disappointed in them okay or that you're just overall disappointed in this relationship they can't stop thinking about how things ended between you both sadness depression you know i'm getting the same cards over and over again this person is very sad that's a very sad human out here okay after you left them because your coming off is so positive so out there you know you you know you got your shit together pisces you know you may have gone through like a lot but it's like you know you're picking up yourself you know you're picking up the bits and pieces and you're just wanting to move forward you know this person out here is constantly dwelling in the past and the past and the past okay like oh how good it was but where's the action from their side to want to get that relationship back i think they see you they, they see their i think they see your confidence okay and uh that's something that is intimidating them okay i feel they feel you no longer need them because we have the tower card out here again in their actions here so this person is definitely we're going to find out what this tower card is but this person out here is definitely having like it, it, they know they know they need to make a drastic approach in order for them to come towards you okay in order for you for them to get you back you on the other hand here i feel you're healing you know you feel if it's meant to be it's meant to be because this has been a situation that has become more of a burden to you than stress no longer wanting to stay in your head you're getting out of your head you 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 see the light of the tunnel and like i said you're choosing to focus on yourself putting the past okay let bygones be bygones and just choosing to look forward is what i'm getting here okay you've like like you've got this understanding about what really went wrong between you and this person here and with the nine of pentacles here i think you're okay on your own you're uh, literally like you know you're being very picky and choosy with the kind of people that you want to be with and this person out here um i don't think they qualify okay in that list of people that you think that you want to be with that's what i'm getting here but uh yeah you're okay being on your own you could be dating out here or you're just very you know you're you're being very successful in any endeavors any adventures um more like uh you know career goals etc you know that you could be pursuing right now but i think you're very happy where you are see see you're also releasing yourself okay you're no longer restricting yourself to this person you probably thought this was the only option that you had you're no longer doing that because see this is someone who's non committal right this is someone on committal this is someone who's not looking at commitment and you could have tried with this over and over and over again okay and you probably you know there's like this break of illusion that you had okay that yeah it'll work out it'll work out it'll work out okay but finally you're like it's not really working out you're trusting your intuition and you're done manifesting this person okay you're no longer wanting to manifest this person this person out here um they want this beginning with you and i think with the seven of wands you're do they're not giving up they're not giving up pisces it's it's going to be a tough fight they're not giving up they're going to stand by what they want and they want you they want a brand new beginning with you very passionate energy very sexual energy but the ace of wands is also a beginning of a new chapter okay they want a clean slate they want you to forget what happened in the past how convenient and uh, have a new beginning with them okay and they're strategizing they're strategizing their intentions towards you so when this person comes back towards you you're, you're going to be like okay uh, i don't really know what's going on but it's like they're not really going to be very open about their intentions okay their intentions behind the scenes is a lot more than you think okay so this is more like getting into stealth mode okay so they're going to sneak back into your life and you won't really know what's really going on but when they come back there's a lot more on their mind okay there's a lot more on their mind um than you think there's a lot of strategy out here okay they're now trying to be flexible they're being adaptable and now they're getting the courage okay to come back towards you here okay could be someone who's very deceitful you know but this is somebody yeah, who you you know i don't know who i mean which ex this is okay or someone who you broke up with but this is clearly someone yeah, who keeps coming back towards you so if there is a particular ex in your life or there's someone yeah, who breaks up you know walks away from commitment again comes back walks away again comes back that's this person out here that is this person out here and i think you learn their patterns out here you know you know you you've learned their patterns it's like i've seen that before and i don't trust you which is why now they feel like now they got to start a new approach they got to have a different approach towards you here but they're hellbent on having a new beginning with you 
okay they're quite restless uh this person will communicate with you is also what i'm getting here but seven of cups in reverse they're ready to take action i feel this person was procrastinating all this while either they had their options open but they're choosing you or then they were just very confused okay about what they want with you or what they want from life or they just didn't know in general what they wanted in their love life so yep so that's what they have and that's what i have for you i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below and i will see you next time bye bye